Ah yes, the ocean. There is truly nothing like it. The salty air, the waves crashing against the shore, and the beautiful wildlife. Whether you love it or not, the beauty of the seven seas has inspired artists for generations, and the food we get from our oceans is second to none, with sushi being a popular choice. Recently, I've discovered a game that satisfies both my cravings of life by the sea and my favorite food of all time. Today's selection from the indie shelf is Dave the Diver, developed by Mint Rocket. Dave the Diver is a combination of a deep dive exploration roguelike and a micromanaging diner dash, merging the two together flawlessly with a day-night cycle. By day, you explore the depths of the ocean, gathering fish and supplies for your night job as a waiter in a sushi restaurant. The more you play, the more characters you encounter, fleshing out the gameplay and the world around you, while new mechanics get unlocked to both customize and optimize the sushi restaurant. So without further ado, let's jump right in with Dave the Diver. In Dave the Diver, you play as, well, Dave, who's peacefully enjoying his vacation when all of a sudden his sketchy but deceivingly charming friend Cobra calls him out of the blue and tells him he has the business idea of a lifetime. One flight later and you end up on a boat in the middle of an island paradise as this delightfully pudgy little dude. Cobra then explains that he has partnered up with his old friend Bancho, who just so happens to be a crazy good sushi chef and he has started a restaurant with him right on the coast of the Big Blue Hole. I yeah, it's really called that. What makes this place so special is that it's the one area in the world where all forms of sea life gather together and live in harmony, making it the perfect place to start a world famous sushi restaurant. Dave being a formal professional diver makes the perfect candidate of gathering fish and other ingredients to stock the restaurant. So off you go into the deep blue wonder that is the sea. And I want to start off by admiring the aesthetic of this game. Merging 3D models and pixel sprites together can seem like a daunting task, but the way Mint Rocket handled it in this game is just breathtaking. The ocean is beautiful with its blending of blues mixed with the vibrant colors of the fish and coral reef. The colors of the ocean can even change depending on the day, time, and weather. On rainy days, you can see the raindrops splash against the surface of the water, which is something they absolutely did not have to do. But the fact that they did really shows Mint Rocket's dedication to detail, and I am here for it. The soundtrack is also one to appreciate, setting the mood perfectly wherever you are. From the upbeat syncopated song in the sushi restaurant, to the soft yet wondrous melody of exploring the ocean. But how about the gameplay? While you explore the ocean for ingredients, you must be mindful of your oxygen and depth. Obviously oxygen is limited, so be sure to keep an eye on your gauge so you don't drown. You can extend the amount of time you spend underwater by finding oxygen barrels for a quick resupply or items found in chests, which can consist of portable oxygen tanks or other tools to help you navigate the ocean floor more effectively. You can dash on your own, but this action consumes oxygen at a faster rate, so use it strategically. Your depth is also pretty self-explanatory. The further down you go, the more water pressure you take on, so Dave can only explore so far until you upgrade your suit. More on that later. Well, that's great we know how to swim and everything, but how do we catch the fish for our sushi business? Dave carries a variety of tools to capture fish and defend himself from predators. The most notable is Dave's trusty harpoon gun. For when you take aim, time slows down so you can take the perfect shot, nabbing any sea life in front of you. Dave also carries a diver's knife to cut down plants or make quick short-ranged attacks on fish that are nearby. A little down the road, you also come into possession of ranged weapons that can consist of rifles, shotguns, sleep darts, and many more. All of these tools can be modified or swapped out by looting weapons chests. These chests carry different tips for your harpoon gun that change how damage is dealt in the form of passive effects, like shock, poison, and so on. But every fish you catch adds on to the weight meter. When you collect too many ingredients, you become over-encumbered, causing Dave to move much slower and you can only carry up to 10 pounds over the limit before Dave just stops collecting altogether. But now that you're done collecting food for the restaurant, it's time to resurface. You can do this by simply swimming to the surface of the ocean or by locating an escape pod zone. Back on the boat, we have a bunch of neat stuff to help our main man improve his gear and plan out his next expedition. When aboard Cobra's boat, you always have the off chance of being introduced to one of the game's many characters. 
These guys offer side quests to help you unlock new gear or provide story missions to progress the plot about the mysteries of the big blue hole. That is never going to feel right to say. These characters also unlock new apps on your cell phone. Apps give Dave the ability to upgrade his diving gear, fill out the fish compendium, get side quests to unlock new charms boosting his stats, craft new weapons, or manage the restaurant. And I know this seems like a lot to take in, especially since we haven't even gotten to the diner dash section, but don't be intimidated. Dave the Diver spaces out the unlocking of new mechanics very well. When playing, not once did I feel overwhelmed. Every time I unlocked something new, it only enhanced the experience, whether it was getting a new goal to work towards, or being shown one of these hilarious sprite animations of the game's characters. The game's charm and progression keeps me smiling and wanting more. Well now that we've gathered up everything we needed for the day, let's see how things work down at Bancho Sushi. Here at Bancho Sushi, there is never a dull moment. But before we open, we need to put all those fish we caught to good use. First thing we need to do is figure out what to serve the guests. Using the fish you caught, you can select the rolls you want to sell, and even enhance them to make more money. Once the door is open, it's your job to deliver food, clean up leftover dishes, and top off drinks. Trying to do this all by yourself can get intense, especially when the guests are getting impatient. So to help you out, you can hire employees to help Boncho prepare dishes faster or help Dave serve customers. Once the night is done, you can rake in the profits and use that money to buy more upgrades on the boat, hire new employees, customize the restaurant, and so much more. You also obtain Artisan's Flame. This currency lets you unlock new recipes for Boncho to sell to customers, so you can get some more money and spread word of mouth of the restaurant via the game's social media platform, Cookstuff. The more famous you get, the more items you can add to the menu, and you unlock new upgrades and cosmetics for the restaurant. Overall, Dave the Diver is a pleasant time. The deep dive roguelike side is fun, strategizing what fish to catch, progressing the plot, or gathering certain items to unlock new goodies in the various app stores. The world is absolutely beautiful with its ocean depths, colorful fish, expanding the world to solve the mysteries of the big blue hole. The sushi restaurant is the right amount of stressful and strategic, planning out what to serve to customers and customizing the restaurant to make your bistro a home. And this is the first time in a while that I haven't had anything criticizing to say about a game. Everything just works and works well, at least in my opinion. It's just nice to know that every time I boot up Dave the Diver, I'll be smiling just like this goofball. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and if you like this episode of Indie Shelf, consider watching the other episodes in the recommended playlist, and subscribe to see future installments. Bye!